Hi guys, the media is getting more and more bizarre. First we have Quasi Quarteng appearing on everything from the BBC to Sky News with his disastrous mini-budget very much in the rearview mirror. Then recently disgraced Nadine Zouari being invited on to Question Time to discuss everything but how to keep your horse warm at taxpayers' expense. And then we have this. Jeffrey Archer is a convicted criminal. He served a jail time for perverting the course of justice. His reputation was also marred by accusations of insider trading when he was deputy chair of the Conservative Party. He was also accused of attempting to bring down a foreign government via coup. But for some reason Kay Burley thought it would be a good idea to have his opinion on the issue of freebies. Truly bizarre. It's happened very early in the administration and they've caught on to it, and it won't happen again. And I suspect, Kay, if you were interviewing me in four years' time, and you asked that question, no one would remember. So they've got to hope this just goes away quietly, that in four years' time, the world will have changed so much, and other issues of real importance will be coming up. That's what you'll be interviewing. But is there anything more important than trust in your leader? Oh, no, I agree. I agree trust is very important. And dare I say, I don't think it's a mistake Margaret Thatcher or John Major would have made. Why do you say that? You knew that well, very because well, obviously. I, I, well, I can actually point to an occasion. Uh, you may not be old enough. But we both know I am, but let's press on. <laughs> when Margaret went to see Gorbachev, when Margaret Thatcher went to see Gorbachev in Russia, we had long discussions about the fact that that she was going to be right across the world on television. And we went to Aquascutum, and she chose clothes she would wear, so she had a different outfit for the three days she was there. But I said to the owner of the company, Mr. Abrams, uh, we want a bill. We expect you to send a bill. This is not free. And he did. He sent a bill, and the Prime Minister paid it. So I think, yes, that was a genuine difference. What advice would you give to um, either Sue Gray or to uh, the Prime Minister at the moment? Well, I think it's been an unfortunate start, but they're both extremely bright. They'll have worked that out. I repeat, I don't think this is the discussion we'll be having in four years' time. This is a five-year parliament. Margaret Thatcher always went May the year before she had to. Uh, that was her decision. Um, they will have that privilege. They will be able to choose when to go. And uh, that will be a big difference. Okay, so first of all, a stopped clock is right twice a day. So, <laughs> but look, he's not actually bringing anything to the table that most people don't already understand. I just find the whole idea of interviewing this guy really bizarre. Not saying that he's wrong, I'm just saying I don't understand why he's been interviewed. Now, what he said here is interesting, and I agree with him. We're not going to be talking about this in four years' time. We're not going to be talking about Keir Starmer or you know, suits or tickets to football matches and stuff like this. Keir Starmer may not even be prime minister in four years' time. He may be replaced within a few months or even a, a year um, by somebody else, maybe Angela Rayner or someone else. So, you know, we we, won't, we probably won't be talking about Keir Starmer in four years' time, and we won't be talking about this in four years' time. But what Kay brought up, yes, trust is is fundamental. You know, trust has been damaged here. And I said before, one way out of this is to ban all donations. But it was also, of course, harm the Conservative Party. But what Labour need to be doing is focusing on an end goal. What do we want to achieve? What do we want to be saying to voters in four years' time? Here is a list of things that we have achieved. Because if you're going to be talking about this, then Labour will be out on their ear. They need to focus on achievements, things that they have improved for ordinary people. I said this before. If they're able to show life has improved since they took over, then they will be re-elected. 